Ladies and gentlemen, Poor Man Supercard Season 5 is back and today we have had a whole new tier launch since the last update and in this one we are going to test the might of the free to play versus the pay to play. Yes, I'm putting my main account against my Poor Man Supercard account for Series 5 to see who comes out on top. We're also going to update on progress because since then we've climbed up to SummerSlam tier and you're going to see exactly how we did it. Let's just say I wasn't ready for uh, some of the freebies. The progress we've made has been insane, but is a good reason why I planned this series out to be a climb and dip because events like dungeons and drop kicks and a raft of free packs have massively changed how progress is made probably more than any series before. Now, before you ask, why has my attire changed? Why do I look a little bit different? Well, that's because I recorded this part and I realized I hadn't actually checked to see if you guys breathed oxygen. Because if you do, I need you to hit the thumbs up. Listen, I'm just checking to make sure you guys are okay. So if you do breathe the sacred oxygen, hit that thumbs up button. Or if you just enjoy yourself during the video. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Poor Man Supercard. It's a series pretty close to my heart, so it'd mean the world if you did. Anyway, back to the old clothing. Now, I have had to skip out on Code Breaker this weekend because I've just had a lot of personal stuff on. I can only focus on one account at a time and I'm ranked quite high on the other account. So I'll pick up on that once we get to the Flash event because that's going to be where the real progress can be made. But the first thing I need to do is find a team. And I know a lot of people who struggle with this on the daily. Now, I'm not at Inferno tier yet, so I'm going to try to go for a Summer Slam 24 team. And the best recommendation I can give to you for finding a team is to connect to a couple of discords. I could suggest Twitter or Instagram, but honestly, Instagram isn't that great. And Twitter or X is an absolute sh hole. So I can either suggest a Supercard News Discord or my own Discord server, which is going to be linked in the description or comments down below to get not just the best community advice you can ask for. If you're a YouTube member or a sub of my Twitch, you can even ask me direct questions in our private Discord server. And there's an exclusive channel just for finding teams. It's not guaranteed to work, but it might just help you. So we're going to switch from Inferno to Summer Sam 24 and see what's available. There's an event going on tonight for the Miz that I'd really like to try and get the Inferno card for. These guys are all Inferno tier, but maybe they're not at the right level. Couple of summer stand people let's let's press the join button and see what they do i've not been in a team all series so this is going to be the first time i might get a chance to contribute to things like team stomping grounds team battlegrounds even though i don't particularly like the mode or the team events i've just come across this team and well it's true to the iron sheik's nature i could not agree with them more let's join a lot of the teams here are saying discord is definitely a recommendation i can give to get discord i'm going to send a request for these k W O L G guys, Wookie Warriors, dude. I love a bit of Star Wars, so Max TPG play events or kicked. Well, I always do that, so I send them a request. What's the worst that could happen? Do not sit down. Now I have been rejected a couple of times for teams already, so I can only recommend to make sure that your deck is as up to date as possible. Always make sure you've got your top cards in the team deck. Not everyone bases their decision on your top eight. So whilst we wait for the verdict on whether I'll be joining any of those teams, let's see how we got here in the first place. Segway. Welcome to Free or Paid. We usually do this once every season on a series of Poor Man Supercard. We put the main account up against the Poor Man Supercard account. We watch as the Poor Man Supercard account absolutely trashes the main account. Let's have a look first of all how many packs we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have to ratio the packs because I've got a lot more Poor Man Supercard packs. We've got to see now. Poor Man Supercard has... One, two, three, four, five, six. So five versus six. Okay, we'll give poor man's a little bit of a boost. Right, so I want some predictions. Poor man's or main? Who's winning this? The stream has spoken, which you stream on twitch.tv forward slash Super Summer Guy Barbecue. The 60% of the chat think it's going to be the free account. Poor man's super card. 40% of the chat say 
it's gonna be the main account. So let's see what's in that pack number one for the free to play poor man supercut account. Let's go. Claim number one, it's a silver pack which might mean it's an Enigma, or is it a Rumble or a WrestleMania? We'll see. It's an Enigma J Uso. Oh, that's good. That's a nice boost. Wonder how much XP we're gonna get from that. 151,000. Well, sh <laughs> That's all I gotta say there. Right, so we're gonna start off with the main account, then the poor man's will come second. Main account, first reward. Well, it's better than the poor man's, and I'll be a happy boy. It's a bronze. Bronze pack is a Becky Lynch WrestleMania 40. Now we go to the poor man. Poor man's is going to get. <gasps> no! No! What? Oh, we got the gold, sucker. How much XP is that? 241,000. Yo, we just got to WrestleMania 42. Well, um, that was good. What? <laughs> but yeah, just look at the difference between those. Holy smokes. Pack one goes to poor man's super card. Wow. What a moment. The poor man's account is cooking. Talking about cooking, we have the, the, the croc himself, the final boss. Is it a final boss on my main account? Are we going to get ourselves a boss time? It is a silver account. It only a dragon off for an enigma, so pretty high level. Let's see what Drew gives us. Is Drew going to be the final boss? It's a bronze. So this sex round goes to the main account. We get a WrestleMania 40. I mean, WrestleMania 40 Drew is still good. 24,000 XP for that one. So main account wins this battle. So now we are back to a Liv Morgan. This is for one of the very special Liv Morgans, which my main account has got F3 already. But here comes the big boy. Is it going to be a live or is it going to be a disappointment? It's a bronze. Zelina Vega. Interesting. So that's a pretty bad one. Now on the flip side, the poor man's has got the final boss pack. So is this final boss going to be better? No, no, what the? F no, no, not again. Not again. Are you shitting me? Oh, it's not the final boss, it's a bottom group. I thought it was the rock. You smell? That's not the rock, that's the croc. Wow, okay. I thought that was supposed to be the rock. I mean, it's a SummerSlam card. I'm not, wow. I'm so confused. The final boss, Apollo Crews? Either way, another SummerSlam card. What is going on here? It's goal going millhouse for the poor man's. Two golds already, yeah. I think we're, we're taking the lead. Poor man's just got up on old. Main account. It's time to shine. We've got the equipment. I wonder if. Oh, it's another bronze. WrestleMania mouth guard. Definitely not what I need. And poor man's has got a chance to potentially seal the W. Or at least a draw. It's a Liv Morgan. I think we need to get a, a drum roll. Oh boy. Gold Liv, you're calling it, dude. I don't think that's going to I think I've maxed out my luck. What's it going to be? Bronze, there's a tie. Lyra Valkyria. I, I, I don't mind about it. It's fine. It, it, it's, we got our luck. Two Summer Sam cards is pretty good. So we got a tie. It is now still two to one. We have one pack left or two packs left. One pack left. So it could be a tie or poor man's is going home with the W. It's the Bailey pack. Is the main account going to pull us back for the draw? Final pack. Oh, it's a gold. The main account's got the gold, sucker. It's Bailey, and I believe that's a pro. Yes, it is. Oh boy. This is the question though. Will the poor man's account be able to take the W and get a gold Bailey? It's time. Oh no, it, it's still, don't get me wrong, it's still good, it's a WrestleMania baby, baby, a WrestleMania 40 a Bailey, but it is not a gold, which means it is a tie. The official ranking is a two to two tie between poor man's and the main account. All I've got to say is boo this man, but also yay, I get myself a pro. Bailey. It's time for us to get our poor man's SummerSlam freebie. Poor man's number one started two weeks ago and we're at SummerSlam. I don't think it's ever been that crazy. So we're going to start off from my favorite place on the draft board. 
Jack and Wild. <laughs> The Isle of Dawn. Let's keep going. Triple H. Andre the Giante. Braun Strowman. Jimmy Uso. It's teasing me. Here's the SummerSlam freebie. Hoods. It's ACAM. It's not the first I would have picked, but it's still a SummerSlam. And that is the most important thing. But ACAM is not a bad. I mean, skill wise, overall, ranking wise in the tier, he's not great. He could be an easy pro to get in an event. There we go. 32,000 XP for our first SummerSlam freebie because we have got two other cards thanks to Reward Mania. There he is. ACAM. Done. Fully leveled up. He's going to be one of the best cards already. I mean, what else could you say? I got a little surprise for y'all. I've been working hard on poor man's because I managed to construct two decks that take advantage of tournament mode and has allowed me to build something pretty special. But you see that on each of these, apart from one, I have managed to get nine out of ten. Now, some people would probably think, well, that's just one of the cards. No, 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 no. I have gone, apart from our truth a pro ready for each of these cards when I'm a free to play account, which is crazy. And this is what comes back to my biggest message of Poor Man Supercard, ladies and gentlemen balance. The first card of each one can be beaten by a full WrestleMania 39 deck. So, people coming into the game to play this free to play for the first time. You can literally just enter this into tournament mode, but each card you get for the first time, that's what you're facing. Bonkers. Another tip I'll give to you, go to the store, buy two of these wild arrow alignments. They make so much difference. It is crazy. I never realized that these would be so useful. They are, if you get one, it's, it's a game changer. Most people think because of the cost that it's not gonna be as beneficial, but no, 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 it is. You will come up against some harder cards in this sometimes, but you only need one win before you get to the main card if i knew this before i put the guide out i would have put this into the guide this is the wild card here i want to get the third one i don't want to get the last one because i'm not going to get it my jade cargill's particularly low level but i know if i get an up arrow a left arrow and a right arrow i'll get a 50 boost rod card just took that jade cargill who's one of my worst and now i've got a w and here we go against bianca belair now two five nine three oh we did it it's a pro bianca belair on a free to play account what a pro inferno bianca belair on a free to play account that has spent no money the most powerful female card in the entire tier so far with the piece of equipment which is not difficult to obtain is now in the possession of the poor man super card account xp is insane and once you've leveled and proed her up that's going to go onto your multiplier and it just gets better and better and better la knight is next okay so we're going to use braun Strowman, and there we go second one a pro la knight is now in my possession again what in the heck damien priest i told you i came prepared that is uh, inferno pro number three now let's look at our summer sand pros, which again are still ridiculously good and will help me crazily. There it is. We're going to be doing a lot of leveling. Another 127,000. That's another support card in my hands. Let's go. Let's lock in Bianca, Damien, and LA Knight. Yeah. I did this not expecting what you see on your screen right now. I already did one hype train the other day and managed to get myself a Jacob Fatu. And now we've done another one, not expecting much from it, but keeping it open anyway, just in case something happened. And well, it did. As you can see, there's an Inferno card at the bottom. Now, unlike Jacob Fatu's pack, I managed to get a six of six there. This is only a four of six. So the pack's not even the best. So if it's Rikishi, or Jacob Fatu, it is going to be a pro. Oh, no way. <laughs> Business just picked up, ladies and gents, because that is a pro. Unbelievable stuff absolutely insane stuff in fact me getting this might even push me over into the next level which is just so happens to be inferno what a maneuver we get baron corbin as well i mean we're not totally interested in that but hey i am absolutely over the moon Sixty-three thousand, not enough to take over to the next tier but it doesn't matter to me i'm just happy man that's a pro batu the new enforcer of the bloodline who really should be the leader maybe or maybe that's the rocks job from now on See, now I wish I'd put today's hype train up against my main account. I would have won hands down. But we do have a part two of this quest to find out who's the winner. The champion of champions. Almost like the crown jewel championship. But there's no title. I mean, I could use one of these, but... 
Anyway, segue. No segue. Any, no, anyone? I have to do everything myself. We played the game beforehand. Which of the Reward Mania rewards are better? Now we're doing whose Wednesday is wilder? Main account or poor man supercard? Is we're going to see who has the best rewards. This is tier only. Now, obviously, poor man's can only go up to, unfortunately, SummerSlam. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to see who gets the best overall rewards. So if poor man's supercard gets a SummerSlam and two Noirs, if the main account gets SummerSlam and two Tempest, then the main loses because the overall tiers of the cards are worse. Okay. But we're going to effectively count SummerSlam as a Inferno card overall. So we're going to start a prediction. Who's going to win is the question. 62% say poor man's account, whereas the main account is at 38%. Percent. A lot of people going towards the poor man's, which I, I appreciate. It was a tie last time. So maybe this could be like the, this is the decider, the rubber. Main account is going to go first. First pack is uh, Sam and two Enigmas. Chad Gable and Big Drew. So pay attention to those. Drew, Chad, Akira. Now we're going to switch across to the poor man's and see what that gets. You ready? Oh, we got another SummerSlam. Unfortunately, it may be an L for poor man's. No, yeah, that is a win. That is a win. Because Inferno, yeah, poor man's supercard wins. Because Inferno would be the top card for, for the main account. So yeah, GG's. Poor man's supercard gets the dub. So you're probably thinking we're at two to one for the poor man's account. But if you have seen a previous video, I did a little snippet for a poor man's and spoiler alert, it unfortunately lost a match on Hype Train, which means we're set at a draw. We've got two more challenges to go and these are gonna be Dungeon Smasher and the Bloodline packs that were free on the web store last week. I am being a smidgen cautious though because we've only got a tiny bit of XP left before we reach in Inferno, which is level 47. I've got to give a shout out to someone who took a chance on me, Kilvelli, who accepted my proposal to join the Wookiee Warriors. I haven't played anything yet, not because I'm a dirty freeloader, but because I didn't want to do this off cam. So I've got a lot of catching up to do when this video is out. So we're going to jump over to the main account first. And the way this is going to work is we're only using the first 50 credits, meaning we can only remove one block. And it's how many points we have out of 20. If we're at the same amount of points, it'll go down to the number of yellow chests we have. See how the main account fares. I'm hoping the blue free chests, they're right next to each other. That is not good. Two yellow chests off the bat no extras though okay main account might be in some trouble here oh okay now we're starting to pick up right so we're on five points we're gonna have to go here we've got another blue anymore got a green so no more after this almost at 10 points i'm gonna go here Ooh, that's not good okay though we've got two hidden so i can remove once for 50 credits we've got that yellow so we've got two greens actually no three greens so we're now up to 10 points or 11 points I think it's at this point I'm going to stop. We're going to switch over to the poor man's account and see how that gets on. Oh, this might be worse. We're going to go to the corner first of all. Oh, no, that's not good. Unless we get like a massive cluster here. Oh, no, this is this is bad for poor man. Yellow. OK, can we get another like a cluster of them? Maybe. Oh, it's on a streak and it stopped. Oh, we want another one. Now we've got more yellow. So you now have, have officially more yellows than the main account. And we're on 10 points. But we have just hit a oh that's not good one block so we're gonna do the block we've got another yellow four out of the five yellows on the poor man's oh we might just know we're at 10 okay so i'm gonna take a chance on both of them at this point in time main account has five greens three blues and two yellows the poor man's account has four yellows four greens and three blues so it all comes down to what happens on this next turn we're going to the bottom right hand corner oh we got another one and another one i think it's over I th yeah i think this is over wow the main account has got to 15 so that's where the main account's gonna stop we're gonna have it at 15 with two yellows can the poor man's come back from this no it can't the poor man's loses it's over wow 
That's uh, unfortunate. Whereas the main account's going to get its booty. It wins. So that means it is 3-2 up on the poor man's account. So can poor man supercar pull this back with one last pack? This is a very special Bloodline pack that was available for free on the Supercard web store. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be free because they've taken it offline now, despite it being only available for a short amount of time. But I thought, hey, I'm going to use this for this video. There's a 20% chance of us getting a Bloodline Superstar. If we get a Bloodline, no matter how good the rest of the pack is, it automatically wins. This is Bloodline or bust for the poor man's account. As long as the free-to-play account doesn't get a Bloodline card, then the main account it takes the dub or if it gets a bloodline of its own it's over so let's go for the main account first of all we've got becky lynch no bloodline card though you get 500 credits 10 tokens brooks jensen <laughs> three rarity draft picks so it's down to the poor man's account now can it get the job done Yes, I believe it can. There it is. It's an Inferno card. We are taking it to a tie. 10 Bloodline tokens, Valhalla, 500 credits. If this is Rikishi, it's officially rigged. It's Solo Sakawa. Solo. Hang on, that is a right arrow to my left arrow with Jacob Fatu because he loves his tribal chief. I thought we were passing over to the new rarity. We're not hitting. Interesting. I'm trying to get us into Inferno rarity before I go for these rarity draft picks. Summer San Maurice. Okay, I think this is enough to take us over. It is. We are now in Inferno rarity, baby. Let's go. Seeing as we're at a draw and we're in a very similar situation, given we're both in Inferno rarity now, where we have roughly the same amount of cards on the board, so I'm deciding executive decision to have the finale based off of who gets the best cards out of these. We're both in Inferno rarity, so there's no difference in what we're going to pick. I think this is the best test. Let's get the main account on board first. It has six picks left free account has seven left but you know it's by the by so let's start off with number six on the main account it's gonna get a regular card it is a Seth freaking Rollins enigma to the last card again oh this is like walking on a tightrope summer sam 24 ted the biase i'm gonna go to the right again and it's not a reset it is another summer slam so two summer slams one enigma card for the main poor man's though three picks let it go to the right hand side oh first one it's an enigma card oh it's the reset it, it's a win it's a win it's a win poor man's wins with the undertaker wow it's my first inferno card off the board Yo, let's freaking go baby Woo! poor man's wins everyone doesn't matter if he gets another enigma now it's gonna go for a number seven for luck is it gonna get another one no it's not gonna get enough but we also get a another gunter so it doesn't matter poor man's got the inferno card so it wins GG's. It's kind of poetic because poor man's was down for the count. Despite taking the earlier lead, went down two to three. It looked like it was going to be a massive L, but it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. The Undertaker reaches down, grabs and pulls us out of the grave. Then delivers the biggest Uno reverse choke Sam you've ever seen into the ground. And as the referee counts to 10, Poor man supercard takes the 2-0 lead in the series total. Winning last series and now winning this series. What a comeback, everyone. But if you haven't seen the rest of the series, go along to this video up here. It's the playlist for the rest. Or check out the latest video just down here as we enter spooky season. I'll see you in the next episode of Poor Man Supercard. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, you're still there? Oh, well, I've got a one word for you. Oops.